Can you answer these true and false statements about the electron transport chain? Be ready with a pause button, I'm going to go over the answer after each statement. The electron transport chain occurs along the outer membrane of the mitochondria. Is this true or false? This is false. The electron transport chain occurs in the inner membrane, not the outer membrane. The electron transport chain is an anaerobic process. Is this true or false? This is false. The electron transport chain needs oxygen to occur, so that means it's aerobic. Oxygen acts as the final electron acceptor in the electron transport chain. Is this true or false? This is true. Whenever oxygen combines with electrons and hydrogen ions, it becomes water. The electron transport chain makes the most ATP out of the four steps of cellular respiration. Is this true or false? This is true. Typically, the ETC makes around 30 to 34 ATP per glucose molecule. Proton concentrations build up in the inner membrane space during the electron transport chain. Is this true or false? This is true. This is where there is a high concentration of protons. There is a low concentration in the mitochondrial matrix, and that concentration gradient help makes ATP through the enzyme ATP synthase. Each NADH produces the same amount of ATP as FADH2. Is this true or false? This is false. NADH produces a little bit more ATP per molecule than FADH2. Protons flow into the intermembrane space through ATP synthase. Is this true or false? This is false. Like I mentioned before, they go from the inner membrane space into the matrix through ATP synthase. And here's our last one. The electron transport chain produces water as a byproduct. Is this true or false? This is true. The oxygen, when combined with electrons and hydrogen ions, will make water as a byproduct.